this is Elizabeth from New Game, New Music. Welcome back! And I have put up a poll on Instagram saying if I should stream my Switch or not, even though I only have Splatoon at the moment, but most of the people say yes. So here I'm trying to get through my computer and I bought this little toy, expensive toy. So this is going to be a very quick unbox video and see if it works. I have just realized that I don't really have an intro video like others. So this is an EV drawing for my Twitch channel. So make sure you go and follow my channel as well when I stream every Thursday night. Aver Media's Live Gamer Portable. This is not the latest video capture card down the line, but it's one of the cheapest you can find on the market. I managed to get this one around 135 US dollars here in Hong Kong. It's just the same price as listed on Amazon, and I don't need to pay the shipping fee. The fact that it supports both Mac and PC is definitely a plus. However, the killing feature of this capture card is that you can record footage without using a PC. Instead, you use an SD card to record on the go, so it is not device bounded. But for the fact that I'm only buying this to stream my Nintendo Switch, for time being, it's unlikely that I will need this feature at the moment. I'm more into the fact that this whole thing powers itself off by using one USB cable only. Easy come and easy goes. The maximum resolution is 1080p with 30 frames per second. It is still acceptable for me as long as it supports 1080p. So if you are very serious about FPS, then you may want to consider the newer version Live Gamer Portable 2. Back to opening the box. Immediately you will see the device coated in black and red. Take away the device plastic tray, you will see a big black box, user menu, explain voucher, and the instruction with the link where to download the software. Within the big black box, there is a pouch for the device and a lots of cables that are ready for most types of video and audio input. First, I will need the HDMI cable. This given one is not a long one though. Let's pass the old video inputs and the 3.5 audio cables. Here comes the given mini USB cable as the major power source. Chucking away all the other cables that you don't need and now moving on to the setup. After you have downloaded the software from the given link, obviously, you need to install it. And this is one of those old school full screen installation window, but just following the steps and please read the agreement. Don't just click I agree. Continuing the steps and let the installation complete itself. So when you see the new red fan like icon on your desktop, then your installation is complete. Next step is to connect the cables. First is going to be that mini USB as power source and then the HDMI to the gaming device which for me is the Nintendo Switch. Yep, that's it. Now make sure you have already switched on your console and make sure the capture card is in PC mode too before you move back to your PC. Now you can open the new software RE Central, I believe is how it's pronounced. Click capture on the left, then the red button. Viola! You can now record your gameplay. As you can see that my working area is not huge and if I am expecting to play Switch on this screen, then I will have to expect very late, like big, huge latency, like see this. So you can you see the, how late it responses, which is okay. If I have a second monitor, then I can stream on Twitch and... Um, but it's just not happening for time being until I get a second monitor for a direct video output. So unfortunately, streaming my Switch on Twitch will take a bit more time than expected, but thanks for tuning in. And this is you Game You Music. If you've got anything else that want me to review or anything else want me to try on, then definitely let me know and I will try my best to get them. Also, make sure you subscribe and like this video if you haven't and share this video if you want to. And I will see you on Twitch or next time. Bye-bye!